What is going on guys? Today we are looking at World Cup icon Figo, the 91 right mid who can also be cam and right wing, a 5 star, 4 star in the game, 5'11", high low on the work rates. He is right footed, he has got flair and outside of the foot as the two traits and in terms of stats, we've got decent pace at 91 apiece. We've got very good shooting for a right mid, 88 on the finishing, 90 positioning. I've always preferred this guy as a cam. But with obviously different formations, we personally play a 4-4-2, which is very balanced. And I think as right mid, he should do quite well. We've obviously got good amount of passing on him and dribbling as well. He's coming in at 8-6-8 eight, eight in terms of coins. And I think he could be worth it. Good amount of stamina. Strength and aggression is okay. We have gone with the Hawk on him, which will make him, if I can find it, controlled still. 95 pace, 92 shooting, and 83 physical. So let's have a look and see, is he worth just shy of 900,000 coins? If you're looking for coins, coaching, boosting service, head over to skycoach.gg. Go into your order now. Make sure that you hit the promotional code. Type in JT and get yourself 10% off any services on skycoach.gg. Little one-two from Figo. We're going to try a big ball over the top. I'm not expecting him to get it, but he does get the seconds. Little spin inside, and I lost my hands. Again, let's have a look at this pace then. Little one-two, if I can, with Mbappe. Who's going to try and find him. Gets absolutely mauled by Yaya Torre. And again, let's give him a go. Bit of pace. Little one-two if we can. There he is. He's going to find it. He's got Virgil on him. He's got... That's great pace. Great acceleration from him. Pings it in. Unfortunately, cannot get there. But very, very nice indeed. The pace is definitely useful down that mid. I do think that the right mid is going to be the nice option for him. Judging from the pace just there. It will be interesting just to see how long he can actually do that for. This guy's midfield is absolutely crazy as well. Beautiful. Can we get the inside? Yaya Torre, Virgil, both very, very powerhouses. Tr tried something. And again into Figo. Going to look the inside. Back to him. We can get a bit of outside magic from him. Uh, the, the, maybe the Travella is not the way to go no more. Obviously, that has been patched a hell of a lot. So, we can't always get that one in. Figo coming from deep here. Definitely great acceleration from him. We see the pace and it's absolutely lovely. Yaya Torre, I forget how good this card is. Very, very rarely see him. But the pace on Figo, definitely working well. Obviously, if we had somebody other than Yaya trying to chase him down, I reckon he would absolutely blow past them. There it is. Beautiful. A little bit of a spin. It kind of doesn't help him too much. We find the ball in here. It's a lovely little pass off. I was hoping that he'd run inside there. That would have been the perfect move. It's the only thing with the one-twos. It doesn't always mean... Oh, well, nearly. It doesn't always mean that they go inside or closer to the goal. It just means they kind of go forward. It'd be nice to be able to potentially have a directional one-two. I think that would work really, really well. Figo finding the space. Theo has been absolutely on it. Again, with, with the left-backs getting better and better... You've got to have that right mid in it because at the minute, you can definitely see where the pace in, in right mids are definitely dwindling compared to the comparison. That's got to be a free kick. You can definitely tell that there's less and less of a gap in terms of if you have your best right mid, who you more than likely will spend a lot of money on compared to maybe someone who's just filling in a spot. It's not always going to work. I don't feel like anybody can get it in from this direction. So we'll see how this goes. Figo with the 1 2. Mbappe trying to find him back. Can we find it before the offside? Fio doing his job very, very well. There it is. It's a great ball into Figo. He's got plenty of options. He's going to try and find somebody across goal. Good pass, but unfortunately, Dudek makes the save. Good little bit of play from Figo. Finds his feet out. He's got Alwaran chilling with him. He's managed to do past him. We've got very lucky with that seconds. Looking for Figo again if we can. A little tap to the right. Can we get a second push before Marquinhos takes him out? And it'd be interesting to see how he pairs up against somebody like a Garincha. Because I feel like the, the price at 860, you've definitely got to be getting everything for him. So it'll be interesting to see what that sort of level is for a Garincha. I know he's new in terms of World Cup icons. But Figo's done all right. He's definitely not necessarily wowed me incredibly. But definitely not done bad at all. Good ball out, Figo. It's that. It's this, it's this 
this acceleration just does not seem to get out of his feet quick enough. I feel like Lineker feels like he's got a little bit more spring in his step from the get-go. And that is slightly worrying. Down into Gary. Gary finds a big ball over Figo chest. Volley. Great finish. Good assist. And a following finish from Figo. Oh, great play from Figo. A little bit of pace here. Definitely as he gets into his stride, you can feel that pace really doing well. The physical battle is not necessarily the one you really want from him really there. Great ball into Figo. What can he find here? We've got something down the wing. Lineker's there. It's not... Well, I say it's not the greatest ball. It was a good ball, but the defender read it well. Definitely uh, expected somebody to potentially go towards the ball, and that would leave two men in the attack. So going into the overall for Figo then. So he's coming in at 8-7-4. I feel like he's definitely good. Would I personally pay that much for him? I do think that's pretty expensive. He is more of a right wing. And if we're going to have a look at some of the right wings and see the sort of prices that we can get for them. Because I think there's definitely a more an efficient player that you can go for 100%. I think at right wing, right mid at the moment, I'm using Terrier from the left to over to the right. And then obviously we're putting Barkley on the left so Messi can go up front. But Messi is a perfect option if you finished his SBC. If we have a look here, then let's go for Price at the top. The most expensive you can get is Jarzinho, both versions. To be honest, very, very good right wing. Will 100% say that. Griezmann, I, I would prefer him more in a cam striker role, personally. Gorinch is coming in at 1.2. You can get yourself a cheeky right wing uh, Matthias for a mil, which I definitely wouldn't be putting him there. Normal Gorincha, which is his mid. JJ, Figo is obviously there. Alwarin is a striker, 100%. That guy is just next level. 720k, well worth spent. And if you got him from release, he was about four 500k. You are absolutely in the money you then have Stoichkov as the SBC he's coming in at 635 that's not terrible for him Georgie Best then we have a uh, Renato Sanchez who's more of a mid 100% um, Brolin strikers Salah's definitely not a bad shout he's coming in relatively cheap and I'm thinking if we go a bit further down Rodrigo dropped to 285 that is crazy when I reviewed him just he was about I think five six hundred which is just nuts then you have Asensio Anthony you can see that there's definitely options that you can go for for. But in terms of the options, I feel like you're definitely looking at someone like a Dembele, a Rodrigo, Vinny, if you're looking for the other side. There is a lot of players that you can go for. It all depends on, obviously, A, what, what kind of chemistry start, uh, chemistry you need. If it is, you're looking for an icon rather than necessarily a leagued player. Then, yes, there is Figo, Garincha, Best. They're kind of the top ones that you're looking for. I think Figo's nice if they had the links to all the leagues. I think that is the big thing for me that icons are missing. They get the free stars or, yeah, the free chemistry stars for themselves, but they don't get it for anybody else other than their nation. For me, I think that is a bit poor. I would have had icons link absolutely everybody, every league that you've got into your team. That should give them an extra one. Again, we will be saying this till we're blue, but that is personally where the icons fall down for me. And especially putting 870 into it, I feel like if you're going for a right mid, you can definitely go cheaper and not necessarily worry too much. If you're going for a right wing, then I think definitely you are looking at the right sort of level here. Obviously, 870 is a lot for a, a right mid, but right wing is going to be someone you need who, who's going to be basically scoring for you as well. Normally, that means you've got three up top, left wing, right wing striker, vice versa if you want to striker two center forwards and you've moved in game that is going to be a very vital position to get in on goal the five star four star works the pace is good once he gets going obviously we used a hawk on him that isn't the only chemistry style you can go i think hunter's another one engine finisher if you wanted to absolutely murder the pace and finishing if you are having him as that striking role then obviously the hunter 99 pace 92 shooting is an also a nice option you've already got the 90 agility on him but it all depends on of what you want from this card. I feel like he's a nice card. Not necessarily one I'd put 870 into. But most definitely can see a high value for him. Overall wise. I'd give him a solid. I'd say 8.5 to 9. But obviously it all depends on what price you're looking at him for. If he's a little bit cheaper than this. If you're looking anything 700 and below. I'd probably be looking at about a 9. In terms of efficiency and what he can do. So let me know down below what you think. Make sure you do like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all for the next one.